We are just going to take a quick look at how to remove an element from a map. This picks up where my last tutorial left off. I just did a tutorial on maps. This is all pretty much in the code. So let's just take a look at that real fast. So I've removed a lot of the stuff that I had from the earlier example. So what I have here is I just have a map, a variable called my map, and it's initialized as a string key and the value is going to be an integer. And I just use the keyword map. And then since this is string key to a value integer, it's a string arrow 10. So it just goes string int, string int, string int. And you could make this go for as long as you wanted it to go, right? So there's only four items in this. But let's say I wanted to remove gold from this map list. So what we can do for that is I can write a function called remove element. And I pretty much created the parameters to be the same as a map. So, so I wanted to have two parameters to input, except two arguments. One is a map, and the other is the key element. In this case, it's a string that I want to delete. So we want to remove an element. We just we need to remove its key. So, And we can say which key specifically we want to remove. So in this case... So when I go to call this function here, I'm going to send the map, my map here, and the name of the key that I wish to delete. And then what it's going to return is it's going to return a new map. And then here what we do is we just go ahead and we create a new map called new map. So we give it a new name. And then what we do right underneath that is we create a for loop and we're going to run through the old map going through it, but this time we're going to skip that string when we're cycling through the new map. And then here, this apparently is a specialized function, because if you try to change the name of this, it won't work. So it's concatenate maps. And basically, as this is cycling through the list, the whole list except skipping over the one string we don't want, it's repopulating new map with those keys and values. And so it goes sets new map as it's cycling through the old map and it's kind of just repopulating another map with everything but that key that we deleted. So then we return the new map. So we call this function, we put in our map, we submit the key that we want to delete. If I wanted to delete silver, I'd put silver in here. And then we're gonna call this function we've written and it's gonna return a new map with everything except that this key that we specified. And then what I'm going to do is assign that to a new map called updated map. Using the for loop, we're going to cycle through the new map so that we can verify that this gold element has been deleted. So anyway, let's see how this compiles and go from there. So we'll come in here. We'll go verse, build verse code, push those changes. And that should just take a second. And then let's jump in here and see... When I hit play, we should see all the elements except for gold in our list. So let's see if that's what we see. So we see everything except for gold. So it works. So that's kind of nifty way to remove an element from your map. I would imagine you'd want to do this if it was a, a very long map, but it could just be that you leave the element in there if it's not hurting anything. So it might be more trouble than it's worth just to remove a item you're not using. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.